It's day 14. If Alan's your leader, this workout's for you. Let's do our OT warm up before we begin. Welcome to your Operation Transformation Workout Warm Up. We've got three really simple warm ups to do, so let's get started. We're going to start by walking on the spot. Back's nice and straight, knees nice and high. Let's get the body warmed up, the blood pumping around the body. My pace is a beginner's pace. If it's too easy, take it up a notch. You have to work quite hard in your workouts to get the results. Bring the hands out in front and the knees nice and high. Fantastic. We're going to go for 20 seconds. High knees. If it's too easy, you can jog on the spot. Otherwise, stay with me. Perfect. 10, 9, that's it. 8, 7, keep the pace nice and high. That's it. 6, 5, 4, 3 more. 3, 2, and relax. Shake out the body. Take a breather. From here, let's work the shoulders with some really simple shoulder rolls. Hands to front, back's nice and straight. Big circle and back around. We're gonna go 10 back and 10 forward. You ready? Okay, here we go. Big circle and around for one. Nice and slow, nice and steady, two. Perfect. Right up really high, three, four. That's it, loosen out the arms, five. Perfect, six, seven, three more now. That's it, three, two to go. Two, one more, and one. Brilliant, let's reverse it for one. Two, nice and slow, nice and steady, don't rush through it. Three, perfect. Four, five, great. Six, seven, eight, two to go. Nine, one more, and shake out the arms. How are you feeling, you okay? That's your upper body done. One lower body one, so nice and wide in the feet. Back's nice and straight, you're gonna tilt from the hips and come forward, so from here, tilt it down and hold in that position there. If it's too easy, bring the hands down to the floor. You can go wider on the feet as well and get even lower. See how you feel, otherwise stay with me. We're gonna hold in that position there. You feel the pull from the bum, right in the backs of the legs, into the calves, even a little bit in the front of the legs here. We're gonna hold for 10 more seconds, for 10, nine, eight, brilliant, seven, six, five, four, three more, three, two, and nice and still hands on the knees. Come back up, feet together, shake out the body. You ready for your workout? Well, let's get started. This exercise is a wide foot squat. It's great for the bum and the inside of the legs. It's a very, very short movement. So watch me and we'll take it from there. You can really widen the feet. My back's nice and straight. My left foot points out, my right foot points out. And then I hold in this position here. All you have to do is pulse for about three inches and back. That's there to there. You ready to go? Okay, let's get started. Nice and widen the feet. In five, four, three, two, and one, here we go, for one, two, good. So short motion, really short movement. It starts quite easy, then the bum kicks in, the inside of the legs kick in as well. That's perfect, and push through the heels all the way through. Really good, if it's too easy, what do you do? You speed it up, it's important. Or you can go that even lower, you can push it right down if you want. I'm doing the easy version, obviously make it harder if you want. You've gotta work hard to get the benefits, otherwise you're wasting your time. That's to keep it going. You're 30 seconds through, small pulse, keep it going, brilliant, good. It's gonna squeeze, it's gonna scream a little bit now, it's a little bit of a pain, guess what? It's a good thing. Work hard, 20 seconds to go. Small motion, stay with it, take a break if you need it, but try and push through. Keep it going for 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, good, 10, nine, eight, seven, come on, six, keep it going, five, four, three, two, and slowly up you come, shake it out. It's great work, well done. This exercise is an upright row. It's great for your shoulders, the top of your back, and really, really good for your posture. As always, feet are shoulder width, belly buttons pulled in towards the spine. With this one, the elbows come higher than the shoulders and straight back down. So from here, to here, to here. You ready to go? 60 seconds on the clock, in three, two, one, here we go. Perfect, now my neck is lovely and relaxed. My shoulders on top of my back are doing all the work here. My belly button's pulled in and I'm not swinging into it. That's it, keep going. This is your beginner pace, if it's too easy, take it up a notch and don't forget, if it's still too easy, go heavier on your water balls. To get results, you've gotta work harder in your work and keep going, I'm gonna go side on. Perfect, from here. I'm not swinging into it, my back is lovely and straight. Elbows hard and shoulders, keep going, that's brilliant, good. Perfect, don't forget to breathe, breathing in, and breathing out, breathe in, and breathe out, perfect, good. Now we're nice and relaxed in the neck, stay with me on this pace, if you're a beginner, come on, keep it going, good. And again, about 20 seconds, fantastic, don't rock, you're gonna get tired, don't lean into it, 
Back stays tall. Watch the belly button. Keep it pulled into the spine for 10, 9, 8, 7, brilliant, 6, and 5, 4, 3, 2 more, 2, and 1, shake it out, it's great work, well done. The next exercise is a 3 second lunge, it's another one of the new exercises for this year, the chair is there for support, and as ever, watch me first, nice and long on the feet, left foot forward, right foot back, belly button pulled in, back's nice and straight, the chair is there for support, and it's three seconds and three movements on the way down. Three, two, one, and back. The key thing is you can see your toe at every single stage. Watch me, three, two, and one. Let's go side on. Foot's forward, foot's back. Back's nice and straight, look at the toe. Three, two, one, and back up. You ready? We're gonna do 30 seconds per leg. If it's too easy, just up the pace. But watch the posture, watch the belly button, and watch the toe. So here we go in three, Two, one, let's rock. One, two, three, and back. Don't lean on that chair, just use it for a little bit of support if the balance is off. Breathing in, and breathe out, fantastic. Breathing in the way down, one, and back up. Look at your toe, where is it? And back, fantastic. Right down, one, and up. This is all for your quads, for your bum. It's a really good exercise, and it's nice and controlled, which is great. Five seconds. We'll do one more on this leg, here we go, three, Two, one, back up, shake it out, opposite leg. Right foot forward, left foot back. Back's nice and straight, tummy's pulled in. And three, two, one, let's go. Three, two, one, and up. Brilliant. Two, and one. Again, I'm looking at my toe because I can see my knee isn't leaning over. That's exactly how I want it. Two, one, and back up. Really good. Three, two, one, and back. It's got to burn a little bit. Keep it going. And back up. Brilliant. Three, two, one. 10 second countdown, and here we go for 10, 9, 8, 7, and 6, 5, good, we'll do two more, come on, 3, 2, one. we'll do one more, yes you can, 3, 2, and up you come, shake out the legs, great work, well done. This exercise is a straight arm raise, as ever, the key teaching points are this, your feet are shoulder width apart, your belly button is pulled in, that focuses the middle of the body, and the back's nice and straight, from here, up to eye level and back down by the side. And watch me side on before we go. So from here, shoulder width, belly button. From here, eye level and back down. You ready to go? Get your water bottles in three, two, one. Here we go, perfect. Now as ever, in terms of breathing, always breathe in on the easy bit and breathe out on the hard bit. So breathe in on the way down and breathe out on the way up. Your back stays really straight. You don't rock into it, don't roll into it whatsoever. Force the belly button in towards the back of the spine. That keeps the middle of the body nice and tight. This is a beginner pace. So if it's too easy, take it up a notch. Go that little bit quicker. You've got to get slightly out of breath, but be still able to hold a conversation. That's how you know you're working hard enough. It's called your talk test point. If it's still too easy when you do that, go heavier on the water bottles. Go to one liters and make it much, much more difficult. How are we feeling? Are we okay? It was too easy, come on, let's take it up a notch, I think it's a bit easy, that's it, perfect. Don't forget to breathe, breathe in on the way down, and perfect, that's it, good. Stay with me, really good, back's nice and straight, belly button's pulled in, shoulders are beginning to burn, but keep it going, you've got 10 seconds, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4 to go, 4, 3, 2, and 1, shake it out, roll out the shoulders, well done. This exercise is called a bent over row, and it's great for your back. However, it's a little trickier than some we've done before, so watch me first. This time you go wider on the feet. The back stays nice and straight, and you tilt from the hips. Come down from there. My back is lovely and straight. From here, right the way up, and right the way down. Watch me side on first. So a little bit wider than shoulder width. Back's nice and straight. Tilt from the hips. From here, all the way up, and all the way down. You got it? Get your water bottles. We're going to start in three. Two, wider on the feet, one, tilt, here we go. Perfect, and it's right the way down, really deep, and right back up. You feel the stretch on the back, that's it, that's perfect. Good, keep the elbows in by the side, they wanna come out, don't let them, keep them in. Makes it a little bit more difficult. In terms of breathing, simple. Breathe out on the easy bit, and breathe in on the hard bit. Breathing out, and breathing in. Breathe out, and in, perfect. Any back pain at all, you stop straight away. That's really, really important. That's it, nice and deep. Right the way down, perfect, good. Stay with me now, that's really good. That's it, if it's too easy, remember, up the pace. 
And if it's still too easy, just go heavier on the water bottles. It'll make it much, much more difficult. That's great work, well done. 20 seconds to go. Big stretch and right way back. Don't let the elbows drift, keep them in by the side. Perfect. Here we go, 10, nine, right down, eight, seven, six more, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and then slowly up you come. Shake it out, it's fantastic work, well done. This exercise is called a deadlift. It's great for your hamstrings, great for your bum. The important thing is that you don't bounce on the way back up. It's a really slow and steady movement. As ever, just watch me. Bring your feet together this time, back's nice and straight, water bottles to the front, very simple, come down nice and slow, nice and steady, and come back up. The key thing is, only go as far as you feel comfortable. Don't go too far and don't bounce. You ready to go? We've got 60 seconds in three, two, one, here we go. All the way down and nice and slow, all the way up, keeping the legs nice and straight, perfect, down and back. In terms of breathing, breathing in the way down and breathing out on the way up, perfect. So this is the beginner's pace. If it's too easy, speed it up a little bit, but not too fast. And if it's still too easy, guess what? You change your water bottles, make them a little bit heavier, and that'll do exactly what it's meant to do. It'll make it harder. If you work too easy, guess what? You're not getting the benefits. It's no good whatsoever. So push the body, push as hard as you possibly can. That's it, keep it going. Bridge. This is the beginner's pace. How are you feeling? We're half the way through. Nice and slow, nice and steady. There's no bouncing, no bounding. It's really, really controlled and back, fantastic, good, keep it going. We've got 15 seconds to go, here we go. One, two, three, right up, four, five, good, six, seven, eight, nine, five seconds to go for five, brilliant. Four, that's it, keep it going, three more, three, two, one, nice and slow, shake out the legs, well done. This exercise is the classic bicep curl. It's really important here that you work hard enough. If the water bottles are too light, you will get nothing out of it whatsoever. So find the right ones for you. It should be quite tough towards the end. As ever, watch me. My feet are shoulder width, belly button's pulled in. That's always the same. Hands are by the side. They want to drift out, but don't let them. All the way up and all the way down. Remember, it's really important you work hard here or you will not get the results. So get the heavier water bottle if you need it. You ready to go? In three, two, one, here it goes. Right the way up and back down. Then squeeze the biceps on the way up and relax them on the way down. That's a squeeze and relax. Breathing in on the way down, breathing out on the way up. Good, keep it going. My back is lovely and straight. I'm not rocking into it like this. That's bad for your back. My belly button's pulled in, therefore I'm really straight and really rigid. The biceps are doing all the work that needs to be perfect. Don't forget to breathe. Remember, breathing in and breathing out. And breathing out, perfect. That's it, stay with it. This is your beginner pace. If it's too easy, you get nothing out of it. So go that little bit harder. Remember, go heavier on the water bottles if needs be. Stay with me. Perfect, should be all on the top of the bicep, all here. That's where he's doing all the work here. Burr, 20 seconds, keep it going, brilliant. Right the way up, that's it, 15. Back's nice and straight, you get tired, don't rock. You'll want to rock because it makes it easier, but don't let it. Perfect, here we go, 10, nine, elbows by the side, eight, seven, six, Five, four more, four, three, two, and up you come for one. Shake out the arms, well done. This exercise is a tricep kickback. It's fantastic for the backs of the arms. So, watch me, a little bit wider than shoulder width. Back's nice and straight, you tilt from the hips. My elbows come up right by my side and I kick back towards the wall and back in. So from here, kick and back. Watch me side on. Feet are slightly wider than shoulder width, back's nice and straight. Tilt from here, elbows up, I'm gonna kick and back in from there. Kick it out. You got it? Take your water bottles, let's get started. In three, two, one, here we go. Perfect, you're gonna squeeze the triceps on the way back. So on the way in, then squeeze it on the way out. That's perfect. This is the beginner pace. If you're not feeling it and it's too easy, you're not gonna get the results. So you're a little bit quicker or go a little bit heavier in terms of the water bottle. Go to the full liter and it'll make it far, far more difficult. The elbows will want to drift, don't let them. They're in by the side, they're kicking it right back towards the wall and you're squeezing it. Keep going, and go side on. This movement here, that's exactly what you should be doing, okay? Perfect, squeeze those arms, brilliant. And lock it out, don't forget to breathe. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathe in on the way in and out on the way back. Keep it going, we've got 20 seconds, perfect. Any back pain, any neck pain, and you stop straight away. It's so, so important. 
I said, say with me, remember, you should be feeling it. If you're not, you're wasting your time. It's too, too easy. 10, nine, right back, eight, seven, six, five, fantastic, four, three, two more, two, and one, slowly up you come, shake it out, it's fantastic work, well done. That's one down, keep up the good work, there's two more left. This exercise is a wide foot squat. It's great for the bum and the inside of the legs. It's a very, very short movement, so watch me, and we'll take it from there. You can really widen the feet. My back's nice and straight, my left foot points out, my right foot points out, and then I hold in this position here. All you have to do is pulse about three inches and back, that's there to there. You ready to go? Okay, let's get started. Nice and widen the feet. In five, four, three, two, and one. Here we go, for one, two, good. The short motion, really short movement. It starts quite easy, then the bum kicks in, the inside of the legs kick in as well. That's perfect, and push through the heels all the way through. Really good, if it's too easy, what do you do? You speed it up. It's important, or you can go that even lower. You can push it right down if you want. I'm doing the easy version. Obviously, make it harder if you want. You've got to work hard to get the benefits. Otherwise, you're wasting your time. That's it. Keep it going. You're 30 seconds through. Small pulse. Keep it going. Brilliant. Good. It's going to squeeze and going to scream a little bit now. It's a little bit of pain. Guess what? It's a good thing. Work hard. 20 seconds to go. Small motion. Stay with it. Take a break if you need it, but try and push through. Keep it going for 15, 14, 13. 12, 11, good, 10, 9, 8, 7, come on, 6, keep it going, 5, 4, 3, 2, and slowly up you come, shake it out, it's great work, well done. This exercise is an upright row, it's great for your shoulders, the top of your back, and really, really good for your posture. As always, feet are shoulder width, belly buttons pulled in towards the spine, with this one, the elbows come higher than the shoulders, and straight back down. So from here to here to here. You ready to go? 60 seconds on the clock. In three, two, one, here we go. Perfect. Now my neck is lovely and relaxed. My shoulders and top of my back are doing all the work here. My belly button's pulled in and I'm not swinging into it. That's it, keep going. This is your beginner pace. If it's too easy, take it up a notch. And don't forget, if it's still too easy, go heavier on your water bottles. To get results, you've got to work harder in your work. And keep going. I'm gonna go side on, perfect, from here. I'm not swinging into it, my back is lovely and straight. Elbows hard and shoulders, keep going, that's brilliant, good. Perfect, don't forget to breathe. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathe in and breathe out, perfect, good. Now we're nice and relaxed in the neck. Stay with me on this pace, if you're a beginner, come on, keep it going, good. And again, about 20 seconds, fantastic, don't rock, you're gonna get tired, don't lean into it. Back stays tall, watch the belly button, keep it pulled into the spine for 10. Nine, eight, seven, brilliant, six, and five, four, three, two more, two, and one, shake it out, it's great work, well done. The next exercise is a three second lunge. It's another one of the new exercises for this year. The chair is there for support, and as ever, watch me first. Nice and long on the feet, left foot forward, right foot back, belly button pulled in, back's nice and straight. Chair is there for support, and it's three seconds and three movements on the way down. Three, two, one, and back. The key thing is, you can see your toe at every single stage. Watch me, three, two, and one. Let's go side on. Foot's forward, foot's back. Back's nice and straight, look at the toe. Three, two, one, and back up. You ready? We're gonna do 30 seconds per leg. If it's too easy, just up the pace. But watch the posture, watch the belly button, and watch the toe. So here we go in three, two, one, let's rock. One, two, three, and back. Don't lean on that chair, just use it for a little bit of support if the balance is off. Breathing in and breathe out, fantastic. Breathing in the way down, one, and back up. Look at your toe, where is it? And back, fantastic. Right down, one, and up. This is all for your quads, for your bum. It's a really good exercise and it's nice and controlled, which is great. Five seconds. We'll do one more on this leg. Here we go. Three, two, one. Back up. Shake it out. Opposite leg. Right foot forward. Left foot back. Back's nice and straight. Tummy's pulled in. In three, two, one. Let's go. Three, two, one, and up. Brilliant. Two and one. Again, I'm looking at my toe because I can see my knee isn't leaning over. That's exactly how I want it. Two, one, and back up. Really good. Three, two, 
one and back it's got to burn a little bit keep it going and back up brilliant three two one ten second countdown and here we go for ten nine eight seven and six five good we'll do two more come on three two one we'll do one more yes you can three two and up you come shake out the legs great work well done this exercise is a straight arm raise as ever the key teaching points are this your feet are shoulder at the part your belly button is pulled in that focuses the middle of the body and the back's nice and straight from here up to eye level and back down by the side and watch me side on before we go so from here shoulder width belly button from here eye level and back down you ready to go get your water bottles in three two one here we go perfect now as ever in terms of breathing always breathe in on the easy bit and breathe out on the hard bit so breathe in on the way down and breathe out on the way up your back stays really straight you don't rock into it don't roll into it whatsoever force the belly button in towards the back of the spine that keeps the middle of the body nice and tight this is a beginner pace so if it's too easy take it up a notch go that little bit quicker you've got to get slightly out of breath but be still able to hold a conversation that's how you know you're working hard enough it's called your talk test point if it's still too easy when you do that go heavier on the water bottles go to one liters and make it much much more difficult how are we feeling we okay it was too easy come on let's take it up a notch i think it's a bit easy that's it perfect don't forget to breathe breathe in the way down and perfect that's it good stay with me really good back's nice and straight belly button's pulled in shoulders are beginning to burn but keep it going You've got 10 seconds nine eight seven six five four to go four three two and one shake it out roll out the shoulders well done this exercise is called a bent over row and it's great for your back however it's a little trickier than some we've done before so watch me first this time you go wider on the feet the back stays nice and straight and you tilt from the hips come down from there my back is lovely and straight from here right the way up and right the way down watch me side on first so a little bit wider than shoulder width back's nice and straight tilt from the hips from here all the way up and all the way down you got it get your water bottles we're going to start in three two wider on the feet one tilt here we go perfect and that's right the way down really deep and right back up you feel the stretch on the back that's it that's perfect good keep the elbows in by the side they want to come out don't let them keep them in makes it a little bit more difficult in terms of breathing simple breathe out on the easy bit and breathe in on the hard bit breathing out and breathing in breathe out and in perfect any back pain at all you stop straight away that's really really important that's it nice and deep right the way down perfect good stay with me now that's really good that's it if it's too easy remember up the pace and if it's still too easy just go heavier on the water bottles it'll make it much much more difficult that's great work well done 20 seconds to go big stretch and right the way back don't let the elbows drift keep them in by the side perfect here we go 10 nine right down eight seven six more six five four three two and one and then slowly up you come shake it out it's fantastic work well done this exercise is called a deadlift it's great for your hamstrings great for your bum the important thing is that you don't bounce on the way back up it's a really slow and steady movement as ever just watch me bring your feet together this time backs nice and straight water bottles to the front very simple come down nice and slow nice and steady and come back up the key thing is only go as far as you feel comfortable don't go too far and don't bounce you ready to go we've got 60 seconds in three two one here we go all the way down and nice and slow all the way up keeping the legs nice and straight perfect down and back in terms of breathing breathing in the way down and breathing out on the way up perfect so this is the beginner's pace if it's too easy speed it up a little bit but not too fast and if it's still too easy guess what you change your water bottles make them a little bit heavier and that'll do exactly what it's meant to do it'll make it harder if you work too easy guess what you're not getting the benefits it's no good whatsoever so push the body push as hard as you possibly can that's it keep it going bridge this is the beginner's pace how are you feeling we're half the way through nice and slow nice and steady there's no bouncing no bounding it's really really controlled and back fantastic good keep it going we've got 15 seconds to go here we go one two three right up four five good six seven eight nine five seconds to go for five brilliant four that's it keep it going three more three 
two, one, nice and slow, shake out the legs, well done. This exercise is the classic bicep curl. It's really important here that you work hard enough. If the water bottles are too light, you will get nothing out of it whatsoever. So find the right ones for you. It should be quite tough towards the end. As ever, watch me, my feet are shoulder width, belly buttons pulled in, that's always the same. Hands are by the side, they want to drift out, but don't let them. All the way up and all the way down. Remember, it's really important you work hard here or you will not get the results. So get the heavier water bottle if you need it. You ready to go? In three, two, one, here goes. Right the way up and back down. Then squeeze the biceps on the way up and relax them on the way down. That's a squeeze and relax. Breathing in on the way down, breathing out on the way up. Good, keep it going. My back is lovely and straight. I'm not rocking into it like this. That's bad for your back. My belly button's pulled in, therefore I'm really straight and really rigid. The biceps are doing all the work that needs to be. Perfect. Don't forget to breathe. Remember, breathing in and breathing out. And breathing out. Perfect. That's it. Stay with it. This is your beginner pace. If it's too easy, you get nothing out of it. So go that little bit harder. Remember, go heavier on the water bottles if needs be. Stay with me. Perfect. Should be all on the top of the bicep. All here. That's where he's doing all the work here. Burr. 20 seconds. Keep it going. Brilliant. Right the way up. That's it. 15. Back's nice and straight. You get tired. Don't rock. You'll want to rock because it makes it easier, but don't let it. Perfect, here we go, 10, 9, elbows by the side, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4 more, 4, 3, 2, and up you come for 1, shake out the arms, well done. This exercise is a tricep kickback, it's fantastic for the backs of the arms, so watch me, a little bit wider than shoulder width, back's nice and straight, you tilt from the hips, my elbows come up right by my side and I kick back towards the wall, and back in. So from here, kick and back. Watch me side on. Feet are slightly wider than shoulder width, back's nice and straight. Tilt from here, elbows up, and we're gonna kick and back in from there. Kick it out. You got it? Take your water bottles, let's get started. In three, two, one, here we go. Perfect. You're gonna squeeze the triceps on the way back. So on the way in, then squeeze it on the way out. That's perfect. This is the beginner pace. If you're not feeling it and it's too easy, you're not gonna get the results. So you're a little bit quicker, or go a little bit heavier in terms of the water bottle. Go to the full liter, and it'll make it far, far more difficult. The elbows will want to drift. Don't let them. They're in by the side. They're kicking it right back towards the wall, and you're squeezing it. Keep going. and go side on. This movement here, that's exactly what you should be doing, okay? Perfect. Squeeze those arms. Brilliant. And lock it out. Don't forget to breathe. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathe in on the way in and out on the way back. Keep it going. We've got 20 seconds. Perfect. Any back pain, any neck pain, and you stop straight away. It's so, so important. That's it. Stay with me. Remember, you should be feeling it. If you're not, you're wasting your time. It's too, too easy. 10, 9, right back. 8, 7, 6, 5. Fantastic. 4, 3, 2 more. 2, and 1. Slowly up you come. Shake it out. It's fantastic work. Well done. That's great work so far. You've done two sets, there's just one more. This exercise is a wide foot squat. It's great for the bum and the inside of the legs. It's a very, very short movement, so watch me and we'll take it from there. You can really widen the feet. My back's nice and straight, my left foot points out, my right foot points out, and then I hold in this position here. All you have to do is pull to about three inches and back, that's so there to there. You ready to go? Okay, let's get started. Nice and widen the feet. In five, four, three, two, and one, here we go, for one, two, good. So short motion, really short movement, it starts quite easy, then the bum kicks in, the inside of the legs kick in as well, that's perfect, and push through the heels all the way through, really good. If it's too easy, what do you do? You speed it up, it's important, or you can go that even lower, you can push it right down if you want. I'm doing the easy version, obviously make it harder if you want, you've gotta work hard to get the benefits, otherwise you're wasting your time, that's to keep it going, you're 30 seconds through, small pulse, keep it going, brilliant, good. It's gonna squeeze, and gonna scream a little bit now, it's a little bit of pain, guess what, it's a good thing. Work hard, 20 seconds to go, small motion, stay with it, take a break if you need it, but try and push through. Keep it going for 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, good, 10, nine, eight, seven, come on, six, keep it going, five, four, three, Two, and slowly up you come, shake it out. It's great work, well done. This exercise is an upright row. It's 
It's great for your shoulders, the top of your back, and really, really good for your posture. As always, feet are shoulder width. Belly button's pulled in towards the spine. With this one, the elbows come higher than the shoulders and straight back down. So from here to here to here. You ready to go? 60 seconds on the clock. In three, two, one, here we go. Perfect. Now my neck is lovely and relaxed. My shoulders and top of my back are doing all the work here. My belly button's pulled in and I'm not swinging into it. That's it, keep going. This is your beginner pace. If it's too easy, take it up a notch. And don't forget, if it's still too easy, go heavier on your water balls. To get results, you've got to work harder in your work. And keep going, I'm going to go side on. Perfect, from here. I'm not swinging into it, my back is lovely and straight. Elbows hard and shoulders, keep going, that's brilliant, good. Perfect, don't forget to breathe. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathe in and breathe out, perfect, good. Now we're nice and relaxed in the neck. Stay with me on this pace, if you're a beginner, come on, keep it going, good. And again, about 20 seconds. Fantastic, don't rock, you're gonna get tired, don't lean into it. Back stays tall, watch the belly button, keep it pulled into the spine for 10, nine, eight, seven, brilliant, six, and five, four, three, two more. Two, and one, shake it out, it's great work, well done. The next exercise is a three second lunge. It's another one of the new exercises for this year. The chair is there for support. And as ever, watch me first. Nice and long on the feet. Left foot forward, right foot back. Belly button pulled in, back's nice and straight. The chair is there for support, and it's three seconds and three movements on the way down. Three, two, one, and back. The key thing is, you can see your toe at every single stage. Watch me, three, two, and one. Let's go side on. Foot's forward, foot's back. Back's nice and straight, look at the toe. Three, two, one, and back up. You ready? We're gonna do 30 seconds per leg. If it's too easy, just up the pace. But watch the posture, watch the belly button, and watch the toe. So here we go in three, two, one, let's rock. One, two, three, and back. Don't lean on that chair, just use it for a little bit of support if the balance is off. Breathing in, and breathe out, fantastic. Breathing in the way down, one, and back up. Look at your toe, where is it? And back, fantastic, right down, one and up. This is all for your quads, for your bum. It's a really good exercise and it's nice and controlled, which is great. Five seconds. We'll do one more on this leg. Here we go. Three, two, one. Back up. Shake it out. Opposite leg. Right foot forward, left foot back. Back's nice and straight. Tummy's pulled in. And three, two, one. Let's go. Three, two, one and up. Brilliant. Two and one. Again, I'm looking at my toe because I can see my knee isn't leaning over. That's exactly how I wanted. Two, one, and back up. Really good. Three, two, one, and back. It's got to burn a little bit. Keep it going. And back up. Brilliant. Three, two, one. Ten second countdown. And here we go for ten, nine, eight, seven, and six, five. Good. We'll do two more. Come on. Three, two, one. We'll do one more. Yes, you can. Three, two, and up you come. Shake out the legs. Great work. Well done. This exercise is a straight arm raise. As ever, the key teaching points are this. Your feet are shoulder at the part, your belly button is pulled in, that focuses the middle of the body, and the back's nice and straight. From here, up to eye level, and back down by the side. And watch me side on before we go. So from here, shoulder width, belly button. From here, eye level, and back down. You ready to go? Get your water bottles in three, two, one. Here we go, perfect. Now as ever, in terms of breathing, always breathe in on the easy bit and breathe out on the hard bit. So breathe in on the way down and breathe out on the way up. Your back stays really straight. You don't rock into it, don't roll into it whatsoever. Force the belly button in towards the back of the spine. That keeps the middle of the body nice and tight. This is a beginner pace. So if it's too easy, take it up a notch. Go that little bit quicker. You've got to get slightly out of breath, but be still able to hold a conversation. That's how you know you're working hard enough. It's called your talk test point. If it's still too easy when you do that, Go heavier on the water bottles, go to one liters, and make it much, much more difficult. How are we feeling, are we okay? If it's too easy, come on, let's take it up a notch, I think it's a bit easy, that's it, perfect. Don't forget to breathe, breathe in the way down, and perfect, that's it, good. Stay with me, really good, back's nice and straight, belly button's pulled in, shoulders are beginning to burn, but keep it going. You've got 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four to go, four, three, two, and one, shake it out, roll out the shoulders, well done. 
This exercise is called a bent over row and it's great for your back. However, it's a little trickier than some we've done before, so watch me first. This time you go wider on the feet. The back stays nice and straight and you tilt from the hips. Come down from there. My back is lovely and straight from here right the way up and right the way down. Watch me side on first. So a little bit wider than shoulder width, back's nice and straight, tilt from the hips, from here all the way up and all the way down. You got it? Get your water bottles. We're going to start in three, two, wider on the feet, one, tilt, here we go. Perfect. And that's right the way down, really deep and right back up. You feel the stretch on the back. That's it. That's perfect. Good. Keep the elbows in by the side. They want to come out. Don't let them keep them in. Makes it a little bit more difficult. In terms of breathing, simple. Breathe out on the easy bit and breathe in on the hard bit. Breathing out and breathing in. Breathe out and in. Perfect. Any back pain at all, you stop straight away. That's really, really important. That's it. Nice and deep. Right the way down. Perfect. Good. Stay with me now. That's really good. That's it. If it's too easy, remember, up the pace. And if it's still too easy, just go heavier on the water bottles. It'll make it much, much more difficult. That's great work. Well done. 20 seconds to go. Big stretch and right way back. Don't let the elbows drift. Keep them in by the side. Perfect. Here we go. 10, 9, right down. 8, 7, 6 more. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And then slowly up you come. Shake it out. It's fantastic work. Well done. This exercise is called a deadlift. It's great for your hamstrings, great for your bum. The important thing is that you don't bounce on the way back up. It's a really slow and steady movement. As ever, just watch me. Bring your feet together this time. Back's nice and straight. Water bottles to the front. Very simple. Come down nice and slow, nice and steady, and come back up. The key thing is, only go as far as you feel comfortable. Don't go too far and don't bounce. You ready to go? We've got 60 seconds in three, two, one. Here we go. All the way down and nice and slow all the way up. Keeping the legs nice and straight. Perfect. Down and back. In terms of breathing, breathing in the way down and breathing out on the way up. Perfect. So this is the beginner's pace. If it's too easy, speed it up a little bit but not too fast. And if it's still too easy, guess what? You change your water bottles, make them a little bit heavier and that'll do exactly what it's meant to do. It'll make it harder. If you work too easy, guess what? You're not getting the benefits. It's no good whatsoever. So push the body Push as hard as you possibly can. That's it. Keep it going. Brilliant. This is the beginner's pace. How are you feeling? We're half the way through. Nice and slow. Nice and steady. There's no bouncing. No bounding. It's really, really controlled. And back. Fantastic. Good. Keep it going. We've got 15 seconds to go. Here we go. One, two, three. Right up. Four, five. Good. Six, seven, eight, nine. Five seconds to go for five. Brilliant. Four, that's it, keep it going. Three more, three, two, one. Nice and slow, shake out the legs. Well done. This exercise is the classic bicep curl. It's really important here that you work hard enough. If the water bottles are too light, you will get nothing out of it whatsoever. So find the right ones for you. It should be quite tough towards the end. As ever, watch me, my feet are shoulder width, belly buttons pulled in, that's always the same. Hands are by the side, they want to drift out, but don't let them all the way up and all the way down. Remember, it's really important you work hard here or you will not get the results. So get the heavier water bottle if you need it. You ready to go? In three, two, one, here goes. Right way up and back down. Then squeeze the biceps on the way up and relax them on the way down. That's a squeeze and relax. Breathing in on the way down, breathing out on the way up. Good, keep it going. My back is lovely and straight. I'm not rocking into it like this. That's bad for your back. My belly button's pulled in, therefore I'm really straight. And really rigid. The biceps are doing all the work that needs to be. Perfect. Don't forget to breathe. Remember, breathing in and breathing out. And breathing out. Perfect. That's it. Stay with it. This is your beginner pace. If it's too easy, you get nothing out of it. So go that little bit harder. Remember, go heavier on the water bottles if needs be. Stay with me. Perfect. Should be all on the top of the bicep. All here. That's where he's doing all the work here. Burp. 20 seconds. Keep it going. Brilliant. Right the way up. That's it. 15. Back's nice and straight, you get tired, don't rock. You'll want to rock because it makes it easier, but don't let it. Perfect, here we go, 10, nine, elbows by the side, eight, seven, six, five, four more, four, three, two, and up you come for one. Shake out the arms, well done. This exercise is a tricep kickback. It's fantastic for the backs of the arms. So, watch me, a little bit wider than shoulder width. Back's nice and straight, you tilt from the hips. 
My elbows come up right by my side and I kick back towards the wall and back in. So from here, kick and back. Watch me side on. Feet are slightly wider than shoulder width. Back's nice and straight. Tilt from here, elbows up. I'm gonna kick and back in from there. Kick it out. You got it? Take your water bottles. Let's get started in three, two, one. Here we go. Perfect. You're gonna squeeze the triceps on the way back. So on the way in, then squeeze it on the way out. That's perfect. This is the beginner pace. If you're not feeling it and it's too easy, you're not gonna get the results. So you're a little bit quicker or go a little bit heavier in terms of the water bottle. Go to the full liter and it'll make it far, far more difficult. The elbows will wanna drift. Don't let them. They're in by the side. They're kicking it right back towards the wall and you're squeezing it. Keep going and go side on. This movement here, that's exactly what you should be doing, okay? Perfect, squeeze those arms. Brilliant. And lock it out. Don't forget to breathe. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathe in on the way in and out on the way back. Keep it going, we've got 20 seconds, perfect. Any back pain, any neck pain, and you stop straight away, it's so, so important. I just say with me, remember, you should be feeling it. If you're not, you're wasting your time, it's too, too easy. 10, nine, right back, eight, seven, six, five, fantastic, four, three, two more, two, and one, slowly up you come, shake it out, it's fantastic work, well done. You're not finished yet, don't forget your cool down. You ready? Okay, well as ever, just follow me. First of all, a leg once, back nice and straight. Right foot comes over left, very simple, just come down and hold. Never bounce on this one. Keep the hands on the legs and come down as far as you feel comfortable. If you get to the floor, fantastic. If not, just use that as a go over the course of the next couple of weeks. So from there, come down, and we're gonna hold in that position there for 15 seconds. There's a lovely pull on the back of the legs. You're not bouncing, there's no impact whatsoever. We're gonna hold for five seconds. Four, three, two, nice and slowly come back up. We're gonna change over, opposite leg. Again, the foot comes over, move it back nice and straight, down and hold in this position here. And we're gonna hold for 15 seconds. Remember, it might be more flexible on one side to get that little bit further down. See how you go. Five seconds, four, three, Two, and nice and slowly out of the stretch, come back up. Never rush out of the stretch, it's really slow. This is the cool down part of the session. Next for the shoulders, really simple. Bring your hands to the front, it comes across the body, other arm comes to the elbow, and we're gonna hold in that position there. It's a great stretch for the shoulder right the way across the arm as well. We're gonna hold, use this hand to make it harder. If it's too easy to bring the hand in towards you, if it's too hard, relax it out for 10, nine, eight, seven, good, six, five, four, three, Two, and come down, shake it out, as ever, and to the opposite side. Hand comes across, arm to elbow, and back in towards you. Fantastic, it's a really good workout, well done. Nearly there, now good, we're gonna hold for 10 more seconds. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and down. Shake it out, loosen up the body, give the legs a bit of a shake, and the arms a bit of a roll. One more, let's have a little bit of fun with some really simple, but very effective hip rolls. Feet are shoulder width apart, Back's nice and straight. Belly button's pulled in towards the spine. Hands come on the hips. And really simple, 10 rolls to the right and 10 rolls to the left. Nice and slow, don't rush through it. Three, perfect. Four, it's good for your back, good for your waist, and just good to cool down. It's a nice way to bring the heart rate down really slowly and really steadily. That's it, five more, five, four, three to go. Three, big circle, big rotation, two, and then change direction. Three, two, one, and rotate for 10. Nine, that's it. Eight, seven more, seven, good. Six, big rotation, five, watch that belly button, pull it in, four, three more, three, two, one more, and one, shake it out, and do three cool down exercises. Well done, that's your session for today.